Building a buzz locally is still one of the best ways to guarantee success. So I'm giving you a few tips in this video. What's up guys, Brandon here from KDMR Music, the channel making you a more successful musician. Now, on this channel, I give you tips, education, and strategies that you can use to go out there and build a financially successful career. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. Now, today we're talking about how to build a local buzz as a musician. And it used to be that People would always say, if you can't build a buzz where you are, then you have no chance of being successful anywhere else. And that's not necessarily true anymore because we have the Internet. But building a local buzz is still one of the best ways to kind of fast track your growth in the music industry. And there are a few reasons for that. One, uh, your local area is super small, um, but most local areas are full of gatekeepers people who are kind of like a, a micro version of all the people you're going to meet in the music industry later on people like radio personalities uh local show promoters and booking agents and um venue owners right people like um the local talent managers uh people on the seen in local writing local news outlets and what's interesting about all of the people that i named is they typically have larger affiliates for example let's say you get picked up by the local uh newspaper right that local newspaper article may lead to a no a local tv station following up with you well the local tv stations they're affiliated nationally all of a sudden, if your story is picked up, you can be national news or a national sensation relatively quickly. But another thing that happens when you're the biggest thing going in a small town is that people will often ask, hey, who's the best musician around here? And when a number of people say your name, that immediately puts a bigger spotlight on you, right? There are quite a few stories in the music industry that go like that. Um, but we'll not talk about all of that today, but let's just talk about a few tips for building a local buzz so that when people are asking, hey, who should I check out around here? Your name is at the top of that conversation. Now, the first tip I have for building a buzz in your local area is networking, 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 networking. Again, building a local buzz uh, or your local area has a bunch of people in it but these industries are generally small right you can probably name for your genre the biggest and the best radio personality to speak with uh, you probably already know the best venue in town the venue that throws the best shows you probably know which writers focus on artists like you right if you're active on your scene if you pay attention to it these things are easy to figure out so when you figure out who these people are, you need to be networking and networking doesn't mean sliding in the DMs, right? Networking means showing up where they are and providing value, making sure that you know them, but also that they know you, that your name comes up in those conversations. So I've got videos about how to network, um, but the biggest key with networking is making sure that you're providing value. And that doesn't mean greasing people's pockets or anything like that, but understanding what they do and what makes them valuable in their position can help you understand what you can do to be more valuable to them. For example, if someone's a booking agent, well, they get paid based on how many people are in the venues, right? So you need to know how to draw a large crowd so that you are attractive to that booking agent, just as an example. So that's tip number one, networking. Now, tip number two is something that's really gonna set you apart from the other artists in your local area, and that is to focus on your showmanship. Now, when I say showmanship, I don't just mean on stage. Actually, right now, if you're watching this, live shows aren't really a thing at the moment, but 
showmanship still is. When I speak of showmanship, what I really mean is what does your full package as an artist look like? What are your visuals looking like? What does your website look like? What do your social media profiles look like? Are you making the most of the opportunities that you have to make a good impression? Again, we're in the internet age. Most people who find out about you, even if they hear about you from a friend, they're immediately going to look you up online. So you need to make sure that your website is well polished, your social media profiles have professional photos on them, your bio is up to date, and everything around your image as an artist is in tip top shape. And when you get back to performing shows and cre creating music videos and other types of content, you do want to make sure those things are top notch. Now, of course, if you have talent, uh, you don't necessarily have to always have top notch video quality and things like that. But when you're talking about being the best in a local area. That's what's going to set you apart. So team up with a videographer in the area, team up with a photographer, have a team of people that you rely on to give you a consistent brand image and make sure you show up that way. And of course, when it's time to do live shows again, make sure you put extra effort into them. Don't just get on the stage and blah, 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 right? Have a really well put together show. Study good live performers in your genre and try to emulate them and kind of put your own spin on things. If you have the best live show in your local area, it will take you far. Not only will people buzz about you, but it can help you maintain a consistent income while you're waiting for these larger area opportunities to come through. Now, the third tip for building a local buzz in the area is collaborating with other artists. Collaborating with other artists does two things, and I say this all the time. The first thing it does is it helps to sharpen your skills as a musician and as a performer because you're seeing other ways of doing things outside of whatever you do in your home studio. But second, and more importantly, it gives you and the artists that you're collaborating with access to new audiences. You get to get access to their fans and they get to get access to your fans. That's super great. But also when you collaborate with the top artists in your area, it helps you to rub shoulders with some of those people we were talking about earlier, the promoters, the radio DJs, uh, the venue owners, all of the people, the writers, all of the people that make your local scene what it is. So if you can build a more attractive show, a more attractive uh, offer for people to participate in a more attractive experience, then you're more likely to get the attention of those local gatekeepers. And again, when people start asking these local people, hey, who's good in this area? Who's good in Raleigh, North Carolina? Your name comes up at the top of that. So don't sleep on the opportunity to collaborate with other audiences to build up your local buzz. So those were three tips to build a buzz in your local area. Now, of course, you can spend a whole bunch of time trying to get gatekeepers on your side or you can go directly to your fans and build an audience of people that actually love and want to spend money on you. I teach how to do that in my coaching community. It's called Master Music Marketing. I'd love for you to join it. You can learn more at mastermusicmarketing.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to let me know in the comments uh, what your experience has been on your local scene. Has it been hard to get attention? What types of things do you feel hold artists back in your local area? Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. I'd love to talk to you about that. Uh, if you like this video, again, give it a thumbs up. Be sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next video. Until then, be safe, be well, keep dreaming, and work hard to make those music business dreams your reality. Peace.